after the examination has loaded, this is the PowerPoint examination, you have to click continue. And after you click continue, you have an option to start the examination. So once you click on start, the examination uh, loads automatically and now you'll have the questions that you're supposed to answer. Looking at the first question, you're told to create a new blank presentation. What you need to do to create that blank presentation, you're supposed to go to File and then you select New. After selecting New, we have blank presentation here. If you are to create it based on the templates that are available, if you scroll downwards, you can see there are different templates and each of the templates has got their name. So what you need to do is just select what you've been told. You select blank presentation and upon selecting, you notice that it has opened for you a PowerPoint uh, document which is blank. There is nothing else that you need to do. You just click answer to submit uh, your question. The second question, you're told, open the presentation named draft in the Z folder, or even it's a drive, Z driver. So what you need to do, you click on file, and now for this case, you're going to select open and after you select open you go to browse once you click on browse you will notice that your local uh, disk uh, z is the one that is currently opened by reading this name so there is no need for you to start uh, browsing on all of uh, on all of these other uh, folder locations you just have to continue because you can see the name of the file you're opening is uh, draft and here we have draft. So you just click on draft, and after you click on draft, you click open. You've already opened uh, the document that you are told on the question. So the other uh, step is to click answer to submit your answer. The next question, you're told to apply a design theme or a design template of your choice the new presentation there is no need for you to uh, waste time you just go to design here are the different design themes they are here you can just click on any of them to apply easily to that question but in case uh, the question was specific telling you to uh, apply any of those other design themes, you would have pointed at them and then the name appears at the bottom. So for, uh, for example, we have integral on this other side, this is a facet. So the moment you point at these different templates, they give you a name. But for our case, we've already answered the question. So you click answer to continue. The next question, you're told to save this presentation to the Z uh, drive using the file name new. So very simple, you just click on file, uh, go to uh, save us. Once you go to save us on the right side, since you want to save it in the Z folder, you just click on this one, that is the current folder. And then you change the name from 503 to uh, new. And upon completion, you click save complete the process and then answer to submit your answer for grading. Next question, you're told to switch the, uh, to the chess presentation. For you to switch, you go to view. We have this option on switch windows. So you click on this icon and then you select chess at this point. It has already switched to chess and then click answer to submit. The next question, you're told to change uh, the name 
in the user information to Bob Kane. So very simple, you have to click on the file tab and then you scroll downwards until you get options at the bottom. So you're supposed to scroll downwards until you get uh, options at this point uh, at the bottom. Uh, and after you get options, you just click on options. Uh, once you click on options, it gives you all the information here. So at this point, this is where you change the username uh, to Bob uh, Kane. After you change, what you need to do, just click OK. And after clicking OK, you go to answer, which is here. Click answer to submit. The next question, you're told use the appropriate command to undo the last I, uh, action. So very simple, this is the answer, undo last. So you just click on it and then go to answer to submit. The next question, where should you click to open the help function? This is where you need to click uh, to access the online help functionality. Then you click answer to submit. Select the view mode that is best suited for quick editing. For quick editing, you have to go to the view tab and then we're going to use the outline view. So you can easily see after you point at the outline view, so you'll see that you can easily create an entire presentation just by pasting your outline from a word and you can easily see it edits uh, by jumping between your slides in the outline pane. So once you click on it, you've changed. You can switch from one slide by just clicking on this. So that is the answer. You click answer to submit. Which of the following is considered a good practice when adding slide uh, titles? The correct answer out of these is using a different title for each uh, slide. Next question. What is considered good practice when creating slide content? You're supposed to use numbered list. Next question. Zoom the presentation to 66%. So you go to view and then you click on zoom. And then we have 66% here. Then you just click OK. After you do that, answer. The next question, where should you click to collapse the ribbon? This is the icon that you click collapse the ribbon. Then click answer to submit. Change the view mode to normal view. The current view that is open is the slide sorter view. So for us to go back to the normal view, you need to click on the view tab, and then you go to normal here in the presentation views group. Click on normal. Then after you do that, click answer to submit. Next question. You told that on slide one, change the layout to title slide. So the first thing you're supposed to ensure that you're on the first slide. So currently we're on the first slide. So for us to change the layout, you just go to layout that is here, and then you select title slide. And then you click answer to submit. Next question. On slide one, apply a background color of your choice. So once you select the slide, you can right click on it and then you go to format 
background. Under format background, we have solid fill. This is the color that you're going to be applying at the background. So you can scroll downwards until you get these colors here. So I can choose any color. If I click on this one, you can see it has been applied to the background of the slide. And after doing that, I click answer submit. Next question. Insert a new slide directly after slide one with the title slide layout. So you ensure that slide one is selected, then you go to a uh, new slide, then select title slide. A new slide will be automatically added. Click answer to submit. Next question, move slide number three directly up to slide number four. So this is slide number four and this is slide number three. So it's switching their positions. You just click on slide number three and then you take it after number four. That was number four, the immediate number four. So they swap positions. Click answer to submit. Next question, you told to delete slide number 12. So for you to delete slide number 12, you navigate downwards to where you get uh, that slide, it's here. So you click on it, you right click, and then you go to delete slide. It has already been deleted. Then click answer, submit. Next question. Which one of the following is a good practice to implement when creating a presentation? We have um, using long uh, describing text in the presentation, no. Using the same title for each slide, no. Using a master slide to maintain a consistent design and format, that is the answer, then answer. Next question. Remove the image of the chess pieces from the bottom right corner for all the slides. The moment you give a question and you're told um, a format has to be applied to all the slides, what should come to your head is the concept of master slides. So for us to do this question, you go to the view tab and you go to slide master. Then on the left side, navigate the first slide at the top, which is the master slide. After navigating, you'll be able to click on these chess pieces and then press delete to clear. Once you're done, click close master view and click answer to submit. Next question. Change the font color of the master title to a color of your choice. So we go back again to the uh, slide master and then navigate to the first slide on this. Uh, and after you click on it, here is the uh, master title. So we select this title and then we are able to change uh, the font color of the same. Uh, Title. You can uh, use this, but I would suggest you go to the Home tab. After going to the Home tab, you click on uh, this icon, the font color icon, and you can select red, uh, it's any of your colors. Then uh, just click Answer to Submit. Next question. Enter the text chess into the footer for all our slides. What you need to do, you go to the insert tab, then you select footer, header and footer here, and then you just take footer and you type chess. And then you click apply to all, then click answer to submit. Next question, 
Apply automatic slide numbering to all the slides in the presentation. So you just go straight away to insert and then you go to uh, slide numbers. If you click on slide numbers, we have the slide number here you click, then you click apply to all. It will be automatic uh, and it will be added to all the slides in the presentation. Click answer to submit. Next question. On slide one, enter the title chess. So you go to slide one. At this section where it's written, click add title. That's where you click and then you type chess. After typing chess, click answer to submit. Next question. On slide number two, change the title agenda to overview. So ensure you move the slide that is being talked about, that is slide number two. So you go to slide number two. Then where it's written agenda, you clear agenda and then you write overview. To writing overview, you're done. Click answer to submit. Next question. On slide number two, copy the word history to slide number three before the word of chess. So you go to slide number two. We have the word history. You can copy it by using uh, this option here, copy. Um, alternatively, you can right click, then select copy. But we've used this copy here. And then you go to slide number three, click on this part where we have of chess because we're supposed to paste it before those words and then you go to paste and then you can click any of these but i would prefer you using the first one after you do that you can click answer to submit next question on slide number three delete the words of chess from the title so you navigate to slide number three, and then the words of chess, you delete them. Then after you're done, click answer to submit. Next question. On slide number three, change the font size of the subtitle origin and modern game to that two points. So you navigate to slide number three, after you go to slide number three, select the, the mentioned text. And after you select that text, go to uh, this point, then you change the size to that. Once you're done, click answer to submit. Next question. On slide number three, Format the text origin and modern game into bold. So ensure you move to slide number three and you select the text you told that is the zone, then apply uh, bolding. After you apply bolding, you click answer to submit. Next question. On slide number three, change the font color of the subtitle origin uh, and modern game to a color of your choice. So you have to go to slide number three, select uh, the words we are supposed to apply the format to, go to the home tab, font colors here. For this case, we can choose a different one. And then you click answer to submit. The next question. On slide number five, apply sentence based to the lines in the numbered list. So you navigate to slide number five. Going to slide number five, you select the entire list, which is here. Then for you to apply the sentence case, you come to this icon. Then you select sentence case. As simple as that. Then you click answer to submit.
Next question. On slide number five, center the title famous players. So you have to navigate that specific slide. That is slide number five on the left, where we have the slide dance names. Then you select this text. It's the text that you're supposed to center. If you look at this alignment, you can see it aligns to the right, and we are told to center it. So we have to click on this one, center. As simple as that, then you click answer to submit. Next question. On slide uh, 12, insert a hyperlink to this website, everydaychess.com, where it says click to add a subtitle. Then the displayed text should be visit our website. So you have to navigate fast to slide number 12 because inserting it in a different slide will uh, make it wrong. So go to slide 12. We have this section that is written, click add subtitle. So you click at that point and then you go to insert, select hyperlink. After you select hyperlink, uh, this uh, insert hyperlink window will be opened. So here, where it is written text to display, we're going to write this display text, that is, visit our website. So you write visit our website. And you're supposed to write it exactly as it's written. If it's written in capital letters, you're supposed to write it in capital letters. Then, at this point, at the bottom here, this is where we write the link HTTP, and you can see it has auto completed itself. So HTTP full colon uh, to backslash www.everydayshares.com. Then you just click OK. The hyperlink has already been inserted. Click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number five, increase the line spacing for the numbered list two lines so what you need to do navigate to slide number five and after going to slide number five select everything that is on that slide the uh, bulleted list uh, actually it's a numbered list then uh, you go to line spacing here then select to then click answer continue Next question. On slide number five, change the numbered list to a bullet list of your choice. So what you need to do, navigate back to slide number five, which is here, select the entire list. And after selecting the entire list, which is numbered here, you can see it's numbering, you go to uh, bullets here, then you can select any of your choice. Once you're done, click answer, continue. The next question, on slide number seven, enter the word rank in the first cell of the table. So you're supposed to navigate uh, still up to slide number seven. And upon going to slide number seven, you check in this table, which is the first cell. The first cell is this box here. So we're going to type rank in that box. And after typing rank in that box, you click answer to uh, continue. Next question. Insert a column to the right of the name column on slide number seven. You need to go to that slide, the specific slide number seven. So we want a column to be inserted on the right of these. So what we need to do you go to layout and then we have insert to the right. So once you click on this, a new column has been inserted on the right. Click answer to continue. Next question. You told on slide number seven, decrease the width of the first column to a width of your choice. So you navigate to slide number seven again 
to go into slide number seven you can click anywhere in the first uh, column the column that you're changing the width then you go to uh, layout then after going to the layout we have the width at this point so you can even change it to one point something and then you press the enter key it will automatically change click answer to continue the next question on slide number seven delete the table so you're told uh, to delete the table that is on slide number seven so you navigate to slide number seven for you to delete the table you have to click on it to select and then press delete to delete it then click answer to continue the next question you told on slide eight create a clustered column chart based on the data below if you look at the question keenly we have average rating uh, in different countries so what you need to do is to go to the slide that is slide number eight after going to slide number eight you go to the insert tab after going to the insert tab click on chart and then confirm whether the chart that you are about to insert is a clustered column chart as written so it's a clustered one so you just click ok after clicking ok you need to modify this data here so this is supposed to be the average uh, rating so you type average uh, rating exactly as it's written and then for category one this is russia for category two it's ukraine uh, ensure you observe the case sensitivity and we also have china at this point uh, but we do not have any category four so we also have to change these values to 2719 20 is 2690 we also change this other one to 2651 2651 and after doing that uh, the chart is already there but we don't need these other um, sections so you can resize the chart data range up to this point then after doing that you can also clear this data as you wish but uh, once you're done you click on close the excel file you already have your chart then after getting the chart just click answer to continue next question where should you click to select the chart so if you want to select the chart the point that you're supposed to click you can click at this point and this chart will be selected all of it answer on slide number eight change the chart type to a bar chart so what you need to do go to slide number eight once you go to slide number eight you want to change it to a bar chart so you click on the chart after clicking on the chart you go to format uh, not format design and then you click on change chart type here select bar and then you can just insert the first uh, bar chart after you're done click answer to continue next question on slide eight enter the text players after the word stop turn in the chart title so you need to navigate to slide number uh, eight and here we have um country rank by average rating of 10 uh, top 10 so this is where we are going to add the word players so you write players there after writing you click answer to continue next question 
you told to uh, apply value data labels to all bars in the chart and the position is not important. So you go back to slide number eight again. After going to slide number eight, you go to uh, click on the chart, go to design, uh, data labels or even the value data labels are here under uh, add chart element. So you go to add chart element, go to data labels. You can select them to be inside end because uh, the second statement says that the position of the data labels is not important. Once you're done, click answer to continue. Next question, you told on slide number eight, change the background chart area color to a solid color of your choice. Navigate to slide number eight, then you can select the chart. After selecting the chart, you can easily go to uh, format and then you go to shape fill here. If you even point out the different colors, you can see the background is changing, so you can select any color of your choice, then click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number eight, print the yellow uh, bar that is representing Ukraine in the chart, the color of your choice without changing the chart style. So you go back to, uh, first you go to the slide, that is number eight, then you select this bar, double click to select it, because if you just click once, you notice that it selects all. But if you click again on that bar, you notice that it will only select uh, the specific bar. For you to change the color, you go to design, then um, not really, you go to format, change it here, and uh, shape fill. Uh, the color will automatically change. You can apply any of them like this one. Then click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number 10, insert the hierarchical organization chart labeled organization chart. So you go to slide number 10 slide number 10 very fast in your document. Here is slide number 10. So for you to insert these, you go to the insert tab, then you select smart apps, then select hierarchy, organization chart is here, then you just click OK. Once you're done, click answer, continue. The next question on slide number 10, demote the box North America so that it appears below the box uh, South America. So what you need to do is navigate to that slide that is number slide number 10. After going to slide number 10, select the box to demote that is North America. Um, and after you select North America, which is here, you can easily uh, go to uh, this tab, uh, design, and then you can select um, demote because you're told to demote it. Once you demote, it appears below South America. Click answer, continue. Next question. You told on slide 10, remove North America box from the organization chart. So you go to slide number 10, then you click on North America box because you want to delete it. So once you click on the box, press delete on your keyboard, then click answer to continue. Next question. On slide 11, insert the chest piece image from the Z folder. So you have to uh, navigate uh, to slide number 11. And then after you're here, you click on the insert tab, go to pictures, then uh, select local disk Z. We have the image just this, then click insert. It will automatically be inserted. Click answer 
to continue. Next question. You told on slide 11, move the chess piece image to the same position on slide number 12. So you go to slide number 11. Going to slide number 11, you select the chess piece and then since we are moving, you use cut option. Then you go to slide number 12 where you want to paste it. Right click and then click paste. It will go to the exact position. Click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number 11, decrease the chess piece size um, so that it does not cover the yellow circle. So at this the same same thing, go to slide number 11, which is at the bottom. And then, since you can see the image is overlapping with these circles, click and reduce the size. And then, once you're done, click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number 11, flip the yellow arrow with text draw horizontally. So you still go back to slide number 11. Slide number 11 is here. Here is the arrow to flip. So once you click on it, you go to format, rotate, and then we are flipping uh, it um, horizontally. So you select flip horizontal and click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number 11, center the middle circle uh, horizontally. Center the middle circle horizontally. It should be aligned to the slide. So we want to center the middle one. So we go back to slide number 11. Select the circle that we are aligning. Then you go to uh, format we have a line here and then you select a line middle sorry is on slide 11 center the middle a uh, circle uh, center the middle circle horizontally. So you go to alignment, it's supposed to be horizontal. Horizontal. So you select this. This is the answer. Sorry. Align, you select this one. And then click answer to continue. Next question, on slide 11, align the circular objects to the middle relative to each other. So you go to slide number 11 again. Going to slide number 11, you can select all of these. Objects, then you go to format, go to align. And since you're supposed to align them to the middle, you select align middle. And then click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number 11, insert a left arrow shape. So ensure that you're on the slide that is expected, that is actually slide number 11. So when you move to slide number 11, you go to insert, then you go to shape. The arrows that you're talking about, they are here, but we need the left arrow. So it's this one. Click on it, draw the arrow on your document, and click answer to continue. Next question. On slide 11, enter the text checkmate into the block arrow. So on slide 11, you navigate downwards to slide number 11. Again to slide number 11, this is the arrow. So 
So you're going to right click on it, then you go to edit text, and then you type checkmate there. Checkmate. If you're typing checkmate, click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number 11, increase the line width of the circle farthest to the right to two points. So you're supposed to navigate to the slide, that is slide number 11. After moving to slide number 11, select the specified circle. That is the circle farthest to the right, it's here. Then you right click, go to format shape, then click on line. We'll have these options here. You can select the width here to be two, change it to be two, and then click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number 11, change the end style of the black arrow to an end style of your choice. So still again, you go to slide number 11. Here it is. So you're supposed to change this one um, of the black arrow, it's here. So you're supposed to right click on it, go to format shape. On the right side, scroll downwards until you see these options here. So you want the end style, end style. So that is the end arrow type. You click on these, then select uh, any of them, then click answer to continue. Next question. You told on slide 11, apply a shadow effect of your choice to the circle setup. So you go back again to slide number 11, slide 11, then select the circle setup, uh, go to format. Once you go to uh, form, uh, that is uh, format, we have shape effects, we have shadow here. You can select any shadow that you want. Then once you're done, click answer to continue. Next question, on slide number 11, ungroup all of the uh, objects. So you go to slide number 11 again. On slide number 11, you just click on it once and you notice that it selects everything. Then you right click uh, and after right clicking, you go to group and then select ungroup. You can now see the many dots that are showing we have different uh, objects that had been grouped together. Once you do that, click answer to submit. Next, you told on slide 11, bring the circle with the text rolls to the front of the others. So you go back to slide number 11. After going to slide number 11, which is this, uh, rules we want it to come in front so what you need to do once you click on that you go to bring forward and then you can select bring to front it will work that way. you can see and click answer to continue the next question on slide number 12 delete the graphical object so you just scroll downwards to slide number 12, that is here, and then here is a graphical object. Click on it, then press delete to delete it. Click answer to continue. Next question. On slide number 12, add a transition effect of your choice. So you move to slide number 12, that is at the bottom. And after going to slide number 12 at the bottom, you're going to go to transitions. You can choose any transition among these ones. But for my case, I will use curtains. So you can see the effect, how it's going to work. It shows uh, how the transition uh, will work during the slideshow. Then click answer to continue. Next question, 
on slide number 12, remove the animation effect from the title. So what you need uh, to do here, you go to slide number 12, navigate to slide number 12. Then since the animation effect has been added to the title, you select the title, uh, that is thank you. And after selecting that, you go to animations. And at this point, you click on this icon and then you select none. Once you click none, it shows that there is no uh, animation effect that has been added to the title. So once you're done, click answer to continue. Next uh, question. On slide number 12, add the not exercise. So you have to move to the slide that you specify that is number 12 and the not. You can either click on this icon for you to get this part that is written, click to add notes. Alternatively, you can go to view and then you click notes here and you'll be able to see the same section. You can type now what is written, that is exercise. And after you're done, click answer to continue. We are almost finishing. So the next question, it all to change the output format for the presentation to overhead. So what you need to do, you go to design, then you go to slide size, go to custom slide size, and then we have overhead at this point, and then just click OK, complete, then click answer to continue. Next question, you told to hide slide number two, you just click on slide number two, ensure it's selected. And after you ensure that the slide is selected, you can either click on slide short tab and then click hide slide. Uh, alternatively, you can right click on it, then click on hide slide. So for our case, I right click, then select hide slide, and then I click answer to continue. Next question, use the appropriate function to spell check uh, the presentation and make the necessary changes. So for us to spell check, we are supposed to go to the review tab. We have the uh, spelling here. So you just click on it, it will give you the suggestions. So we want to uh, change that. It's supposed to be our uh, word. We change resigns next and then it will give us this uh, that uh, spell check is complete. You're good to go. Click OK and click answer to continue. Next question. Change the slide orientation to landscape and when prompted, select ensure fit. So you go back again to the design tab, then go to slide size, go to custom slide, and then slides click on landscape, click OK, then ensure fit, and it will be done. Click answer to continue. Next question, where should you click in order to select three copies for printing? This is where you specify the number of copies and click answer. Two more questions to go. You told to save this presentation as a uh, that is the PowerPoint 97 to 2003 presentation uh, with that format in the Z, for, uh, Z drive. So you go to File, go to Save Us, select Z drive, then um, you're saving it. You're not changing the name, so you just select the Save Us type that is presentation, uh, that is PowerPoint uh, 97 2003 uh, presentation, which is this. You click on that, then click save. Once you're done with that, click answer to continue. Now for our final question, you told to start the slideshow from the sixth slide. So for you to start the slideshow from the sixth slide, you're supposed to uh, navigate first the sixth slide and ensure it's the one that is opened then you just click on slideshow and then select this option from current slide and once you're done click answer to complete